What's up guys, Jeff here, hope you guys are having an awesome day. This is a video entry from my buddy, David McDonald. He is, he is doing a horror giveaway. Awesome dude, very generous guy, very nice guy. Uh, he's doing other giveaways as well. Uh, for this giveaway, you have to make a video. Guys, check out his channel. He's giving away some awesome items. Check out his channel, subscribe to him. Show them some love, guys, and let's get started with this giveaway. He wants us to answer three questions. Question number one, favorite real-life haunted doll? And when somebody asks me that, like, what's your favorite real-life haunted doll? The first one that comes to mind is Robert the Doll, which also, I'm, I, I think it, it inspired the... the um, yeah, Chucky movie, the uh, Charles play. Uh, Robert the Doll, there's an awesome story behind it. And if you guys never heard of Robert the Doll, you should definitely check it out. There's so many stories on YouTube. And I believe there's still somewhere, like there's a museum in Florida where you can actually visit the actual doll. But do not take a picture of, of the doll unless you ask for its permission. And uh, from what I hear, if you don't ask for the doll's permission, that something could happen or... Put it this way, the doll gets mail every day. People send apology letters to a doll apologizing for not asking his permission for taking a picture. That's question number one. Question number two, scary story. Uh, it does not have to be real. It can be a fake story. So I've done a lot of stories already about like my paranormal experiences. I'm not great at telling stories at all, but I am going to try. And I got a story here that I wrote a long time ago. But it's so much to read that I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to, you know give you guys an idea of of what the story is so um so okay so here's a story um the story takes place in salem in the year nine uh, in 19 in the year 1652 in salem where they had the salem witches so this I forgot her name, so I'm going to say the lady married this guy that had a child and had a daughter. And uh, things started happening. The guy was getting sick. So the guy blamed it on the mom. And then rumors were going around that the mom was like a witch. And then... If the mom's a witch, then the daughter is a witch. Something like that. So let's just start off with that. The mom and the daughter are witches, but they're really not. So they go into trial, you know, the, the Salem witch trials. And now their punishment is they have to be hung to death. Um, so they, they hang the daughter first. And uh, the mom does not see the daughter get hung. You know, she has no idea what's, what's happening to her daughter. She has nothing, well, no clue what's happening to her daughter. Her daughter is already hung, dead, gone. The witch is gone. And then it was her turn. And she kept asking, where's my daughter? Where's my daughter? And nobody would tell her. And people were like throwing stuff at her, like die, witch, die. She gets hung, she dies. And this happened in the Salem woods back in the 1600s so till this day when you go and visit Salem when you go through Salem woods little girls have been missing you can go through you can go through the Salem woods visit you know the pathways but if you bring a daughter hold her tight because a lot of young children a lot of young girls have been missing going into Salem Woods because 
of the mom, the mother, she's still alive. Her spirit is alive and she's roaming the woods looking for a daughter. So every time she roams the woods and she sees a little girl in the woods, she takes her away and nobody understands what happens to these little girls and where they all went. I mean, it's not, it's, I mean, it's, it, it's a scary, it's an, it's a good story. It's, I'm not saying it's a scary story, but I mean, I could read the whole thing one day, but that will take a long time. But, um, yeah, that's my story. Um, what is it called? I was going back and forth thinking about a title for it, and um, I call it The Lady in White because in my head I picture this the ghost, and it's just a white ghost roaming the, the woods. So, Lady in White, although there's already a movie called Lady in, in White, so that title is still up there somewhere, I don't know. But yeah, that is my story, and uh, sorry if I just bored you guys. But last, la last question, last question, and then this video is over. Um, five horror movies that I'll be watching for this Halloween. Trick or Treat. Halloween. Child's Play. Child's Play 2. And the last movie. Um, hmm. Not sure. So, so far I got four movies. Last movie. Um You know what? It's probably gonna be like a Rob Zombie movie. I'm probably gonna go with the uh, House of House of a Thousand Corpse. So those are my five movies right there that, that I will watch for Halloween. And uh that is all the questions. Just three questions. Check out David's channel. Uh, awesome channel link will be down below show him some love subscribe to his channel check out his giveaways he's doing more than one giveaway and it's all horror related awesome dude thanks for watching guys and have an awesome awesome day later hey thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe also check out my social media links somewhere here or over there somewhere thanks guys